is my thing, Nicki Minaj, right? How you saying that I got ragged by Riley when there is so many footages of that night, every single angle, and where am I getting ragged at? Why would I be here sitting in line like, oh, yeah, I did this, I did that, knowing that the next day there's going to be so much footages of that same night? And second of all, how you say that I was the, the wild animal, that I attacked you, that you was mortified, that you was humiliated, playing the victim, but now you're the gangster. You need to pick a side. Do you want to be the victim or do you want to be the gangster? You lie so much, you can't even keep up with your fucking lies. First, you're saying that you got the footage, your cameraman got the footage, but now you're talking about you want to pay somebody 100000 if they give you the footage? Yo, make sense when you're talking. I thought you was the victim. I know what this footage of. You standing on the wall talking about, I'm standing right here, Miss Chung Lee, the street fighter. Get the fuck out of here. And since you want to bring that motorsport shit up again, I'm glad you brought it up because I've been dying to talk about it for a fucking hot minute. First of all, you changed your verse two or three times and the day before... We were supposed to do the motorsport video. You turned in your last verse of it. And I was not feeling of you talking about, oh, if Cardi the QB, I'm Nick Lombardi, following it up with, bitch, you my son, go sit on a party. Bitch, you not my coach because you never helped me to get in this fucking career. And I'm nothing like you. So you, I'm definitely not your fucking son. I'm a real ass person. You not. So fuck out of here. And I called you that night. Oh, and I got the receipts, babe. All right. There's my phone. I'm going to my camera. That I went all the way up, October 22nd, this was your number, I called you twice, and you didn't answer. No, show you, show you, show you, it's from the beginning. And I told my label, I'm not doing the video if she don't change her verse. And then my thing is, if you had a problem that I went on the radio and I said that you changed your verse, which you did, which I'm not lying, sis, you had a whole six months to call my phone and talk about it like a grown-ass woman. Or you could have hit up Quavo so we could link up like the first time that we linked up and talk about shit in L.A. But no, you waited a whole six months when you dropped the single to talk about it. How convenient is that? Wow. How convenient is fucking that? And then you want to talk about how I wanted to be on the Creepy Kush remix and I was trying to stop your back. Sis, what are you talking about? First of all, I didn't even know Bad Bunny back then. That's one. And second of all, for months, I was promoting a Spanish record with Osuna that everybody knew that I was promoting. So what are you talking about? You're the one that be hopping on remixes. So why would I want to hop on a song that was already out in the Latin community for like three, three, four, five months? What are you talking about? But you, but, uh, but let's talk facts now, okay? Now let's talk about how you barked at your managers because they got the, because you and GZ got the same management and you barked at them because they gave me the No Limit record, which they presented to you first and you didn't like the record. You didn't believe in the record. Nobody actually believed in the record. Me and GZ, every single time that it climbed up the charts, we was extremely excited and you barked at your management because they gave me the record. And that's fucking fact. Then since you're talking about suing and shit because you claiming that Riley beat me up. Sis, I don't got to sue nobody because of a fight. I'm a street bitch. That is called snitching, you know? But since you want to talk about suing, maybe I should sue you for defamation of character since you want to claim that I'm using something illegal called payola because you don't understand why I am so fucking successful. And my thing is, just like every new artist that had a mega hit like SZA, Ella May, after they get a mega hit, everybody wants to listen to them. So why is it that when people want to listen to me, you cannot believe it, that I, I got to be cheating for that? First of all, you was bopping to my shit. Second, my new single came out called Money, right? So my thing is, my single hasn't even impacted radio yet. And yet, it's doing so good on Apple. It's actually number one on the top, char top charts all genres on Apple. And that's the same shit that you got your queen radio on. So how can I possibly use Payola on some shit that endorses you? Man, is you shitting me? Ugh. And then, let's talk about the leak number shit, right? Let Tell me if this don't make sense. How come my phone number got leaked one hour after the altercation at the Harper's Bazaar party? Tell me how Mariah Lynn number got leaked a couple of weeks, a couple of months. I'm not sure when, you know, that whole Gwyneth situation was happening. And Riley used to have her number. Jason Lee phone number just got leaked recently. And who had his number? Riley. How come everybody that y'all have issues with that 
Y'all have the numbers in y'all camp. They numbers got leaked. My sister just got into an argument with Riley, right? Well, how come my sister number haven't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. How come my new number hasn't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. Isn't that fucking funny? Ain't that shit fucking funny? Hmm. And then the people that texted my phone, that texted Mariah Lynn phone, that texted Jason Lee phone, were all barbs. You're the common denominator on it. So, you tell me. You fucking tell me. Then, after my sister posted those disturbing text messages. Oh, wait, wait. Let me show ya. This is my phone. Let me go to my text messages. I went all the way down from that fucking same day. Look. Look. This was the one that fucking got me tighted the most. And look. It starts from all the way down here, all the way down here. Oh, and it started all the way from up here, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. And after my sister show those text messages, look what you do. You go on your Twitter and you start liking shit like this. You start liking shit um, like this. Endorsing that type of nasty ass fucking behavior. Bitch, you're fucking sick in the head. Now you're trying to say that I'm trying to stop your bag because 21 Savage didn't do a music video with you. Sis, I'm not even that close to that man. So how can I have that power to um, that man to tell him, hey, don't do this music video that you're getting paid for for me. Get the fuck out of here. That song, that No Flag song that they didn't do the music video with you, 21 and Offset, the song wasn't doing good. It wasn't doing that much numbers. So why would they waste their time? And you out here saying that I'm trying to stop your bag, right? But I'm actually helping you get a bag because that diesel deal that you got, yeah, that came to me first. And I had to decline it because I'm already working with fashion brands, you know, which y'all going to see because there's more than Fashion Nova. Then that woman like me record, yeah, I had to decline it because I'm doing a lot of pop records. So I can't, you know, over exaggerate myself. But that came to me first. And then they give it to you. Oh, wait, but let me show you. Not for the One second. This on my media. See, you hear that open verse, right? Ah, okay. okay. Period. Then, since you say you're tired of talking about it, I'm tired of talking about it too. I'm tired of the fucking whole internet shit. I'm tired of the interview shit. If you really want to talk about it, you know where to link me. We could always link up. You know who to reach out. You know we could settle it however you want to settle it. We could talk about it or we could fight it out. I'm with whatever. But I'm sick and tired of that back and forth shit. I'm not doing it. I'm in a good space right now. Let me know what's up. Wait, and then you once said that I never showed you genuine love. And that's crazy because when you pull up all my videos, you see that I'm always showing you respect. Because you're somebody that I listened to ever since I was in high school. And that's crazy to me because I show you respect, but the difference between me and a lot of these bitches, I don't suck your dick. That's the difference. What you need to do is stop focusing on other people, focus on yourself, and focus on your craft because you're out here fucking up your legacy looking like a fucking hater.